Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about IACT, the Interagency Council for Traffic. What is it and where did it come from? Well, you may have remembered that last year, the president applied for special powers or emergency powers to deal with traffic. Now, that's still going through the legal system. So for the time being, the next best thing is IACT. IACT basically joins together many different agencies and allows them to work very efficiently. So you have the MMDA. You have the DOTR, LTFRB, LTO, you have the HPG, the Highway Patrol Group from the PMP, and they also work with local mayors um, and different agencies also. I probably haven't mentioned them all, but the idea is to get them all under one umbrella so they can come together for operations like this where they can you know, really make a big difference. So they're clearing the streets, they're impounding vehicles that are like illegally parked, um, they're catching UV expresses that are out of line or a calorum, for instance, they don't have papers to operate. And today I'm going to be showing you some of that. So you can see behind me there's a lot of vehicles um, and actually there's a press conference going on. So let's go take a look. So if we go in here now, you can see there is a press conference going on over here. Actually, this is near the end of the day already, um, but I wanted to shoot the intro later once I already had an idea, a better idea of what they're doing out there on the streets. So let's cut to some of the footage and show you what's going on. So here you can see they're removing and destroying obstructions from the sidewalk that generally force people to walk in the road. So here's another example of an obstruction that they're going to clear. There's a tricycle that's parked on the sidewalk. And if you look up behind me, there's a sign which says no parking this side. Um, go. So right now they're going to take this tricycle, put it on the truck and take it away as an obstruction. And here behind me, you can see an example of illegal parking. Again, this clogs up the road. Nobody can get past. It's one lane down. So they're dealing with them right now. Now, of course, aside from calorum vehicles, you also have ones like this, which are just out of line. They're operating on a route that they're not allowed to. Now, that's the benefit of having the LTFRB, the LTO, the MMDA, the HPG all working together because they can catch things like this and then take action against them. So right now they're chasing after a UV vehicle that's trying to run away. And it looks like they caught him. So let's see why he was running. So now this guy's in double trouble for whatever his original violation is and for trying to run away. So you managed to catch the UV Express that ran away. What was his violation? It was out of route? Okay, excellent. And also in today's operation is the armed forces of the Philippines. So they're really not messing around. They mean business. They want to improve the traffic situation. They want to instill some discipline. Uh, they want to clear the sidewalks. There's really so much that they're trying to do. So for those who have a doubt that anything's happening, that you know any agency is really doing a work, you can see for yourself in today's video. So that was just a quick video about IACT. In fact, I wanted to give a more detailed explanation, but maybe I can cover that in a future video. The idea is really to get the agencies working together so they can go out on operations like this and be very very effective because sometimes they have the problem where let's say it's the MMDA doing the operation but they need the LTFRB because the problem is franchise related well having all the agencies coming together for these operations makes it much much better um, they can really get a lot done and I saw them today they were out in force clearing the sidewalks impounding vehicles taking off chlorine vehicles um, I didn't manage to get it all on camera but I think I got enough to give you an idea that they really are making a difference because because I know some people say, well, where, what's the government doing? How are they trying to solve traffic? And you might be thinking, well, how does clearing sidewalks help with traffic? Well, of course, if no one can walk on the sidewalk, they have to go on the road, which then blocks the traffic and it causes issues. So all of this is aimed at not only cutting down traffic, but also just having a safer road, basically. So people don't have to walk in the road, they can walk on the sidewalk so that people don't have to worry about getting into illegal vans where they don't know who owns it or what's really going on. So I know it is a little bit disheartening sometimes to see people who don't have much and they're being disturbed because they've already encroached onto the sidewalk or they're operating illegal vehicles. But, you know, it is the way forward. Um, it's better for everyone overall. So just a very quick video, but if you did enjoy it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.